I've, I've found the tweets now, some of the tweets. So I've tweeted a link to the video that I've done, uh, which is comment on... Hang on, hang on let me get the next... Yeah, com, comment on bus stop poster. If you, if you just want to uh, search for it on, on YouTube, comment on bus stop poster, uh, have it tree. The word, if you put those words in, you'll find it. Um, or we've just just I've just tweeted it as we not know W E N O T N O. And uh, I I did this because I was asked by somebody who wants to remain anonymous, but is known as disgruntled of Hevetry, and their concern is the level of information that comes over through the the design of the bus stop or the bus stop poster. I mean, I think it covers all the all the signage around it, really, or the whole situation. Because uh, I think um, I'm not sure anybody's trained in graphic design alone. I think every, most people are trained in all, all sorts of other communication. Um, so that I, I guess the whole of the bus stop would be part of it. The concern is this: if you if you look at the at the, at the um, South, South End Terrace. Uh, it's n near the near the Hevetry Health Centre. Pe people who know Hevetry, so closest bus stop to that. It's an A, an a bus route. Um, it, it's a, it's quite a large poster, but the information about when the when the bus is coming is in very small type and very high up on quite a large space. So it's maybe an eighth of the available space. It's surrounded by blank space, and if you're not tall, you can't you can't really see it. So, um, disgruntled of Hevetry asked me to to uh, do a video about that because I rave on about YouTube and so forth. So I've I've done that, and um, I did I did then get an inquiry through Facebook. I, I don't think there's anything public yet. But there is interest in, in getting a statement from Disgruntled of Hevetry to add to a story about this, uh, which I don't think is going to happen. But there was an additional uh, notice, not, not, in a, not in a graffiti sort of way, in a, very carefully packaged in a see-through office kind of protection and up there with blue tack. So... It's, it's not going to deface or damage the, the bus stop in any way, I don't, I don't think. Uh, but anyway, I've, I've, I've started to publicise it a bit and there's, there's some sort of response on Twitter and I'm going to stick to Twitter today and maybe talk to JD and uh, Chris about Facebook tomorrow during the Wild Show. So the Wild Show has got a Facebook group um, and that's between 10 and 12 on Phonic FM or at Phonic FM on Twitter. Uh, so Stagecoach Southwest, that's at Stagecoach SW in capitals, replied. Uh, Thanks for showing us. We give local councils our updated timetables as the bus stops are council owned. It might be worth contacting them directly to rectify any display issues at their stop. Thanks again, Jay. OK, so I, I, I forwarded that to Exeter City Council, which is Exeter Count, at Exeter Council, E and C in uppercase. Uh, I'm afraid you've tagged the wrong council on this one. Exeter City Council have no role in transport or the bus shelters in Exeter. Well, I th I, so I've, I've sent one to uh, Devon County Council, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm logged on as we not know, and I... I I, I, they, they may have replied, but I can't find it at the moment. Um, as I say, we'll come back to this on the Wild Show. Maybe it has drama in the drama show, but certainly on the on the Wild Show tomorrow, um, when we should know a lot more what all, all these people think. But um, I just find this quite quite hard because um, the quick response codes, the one that's on the poster is recruiting for stagecoach uh, there isn't there isn't a quick response code to get to the app for the, the they say go for go to the app they, there's encouragement to go to the app but there's not a quick response code so somehow a decision has been made 
that stagecoach recruiting is the priority. So stagecoach must have some some involvement in that, you would think. And also, I think the bus stops are part of the city. How, if you go near a, bu a bus stop and you think, well, somebody has designed this thinking about the people who are passing by it, it, it's, um, it it's a positive thing. It's create creates some um, cohesion or something like that. Um, I, I did mention all of this to John because I spoke to him on the phone and um, he's, he's got concerns about um, Sidwell Street, which we'll try and put in a in a format that that we can include on the radio and uh that i think that's a design thing which exeter city council should be concerned about uh but maybe they have to talk to devon county council on on the details of it anyway i'm going to go back to the the play out system